Let us now discuss the second model from time and work where we use the concept of work done in one day to solve the given questions. This is also known as unitary method where we are actually trying to find out the work done in a unit day or one day. So whenever we know the total work, that total work divided by number of days will give us the work done in one day. And this work done in one day can also be referred as capacity or the efficiency of the person. So the first point that we need to understand here is the capacity or efficiency. Capacity or efficiency of a person can be taken as the work done by the person in one day. Work done in one day. Now let us see how can we use this point in solving some questions. For example, let us assume that a person A can do a piece of work in A days and another person B can do the same piece of work in B days. And we are supposed to find out how much time will be required to do the work if A and B work together. So as you can see here, when A works alone, he can finish the total work in A days. When B works alone, he can finish the same work in B days. And now we are required to find out the number of days when A and B work together. For these type of questions, we simply cannot say that the answer will be A plus B days. Why? Because what we have on the left hand side is number of persons. And what we have on the right hand side here is the number of days. Number of persons and number of days are inversely related to each other. That is nothing but P is inversely proportional to D. So as the number of person increases, the number of days required will decrease. And as the number of persons decreases, the number of days required to do the work will increase. So very clearly, the number of persons and number of days are inversely proportional to each other. And whenever two variables are inversely proportional to each other, we cannot have a direct addition on both the sides. So here, to solve this question, we need to go by the capacity of each person or nothing but the work done by each person in one day. As I've already mentioned in the previous model, whenever the work done is not specified, it can be considered as one unit. So let us assume A can do one unit of work in A days. So the amount of work that A can do in one day will be equal to the total work that is 1 divided by number of days A. So here I can say that the work done by A in one day will be equal to 1 by A. That is nothing but total work 1 unit divided by total number of days A. Similarly, the work done by B in one day will be equals to 1 by B. So here 1 by A and 1 by B is nothing but the capacity or efficiency of these persons. Right. Now when A and B work together, so when A and B are working together, we can say that the total work finished by them in one day will be equal to 1 by A plus 1 by B. As A can do 1 by A in one day and B can do 1 by B in one day, when both of them work together, the total which they can finish will be equal to 1 by A plus 1 by B. Now by simplifying this, we get that the LCM is AB, A goes B times and B can be taken A times. So from this equation, we can understand that when A and B work together, the amount of work which they can finish in one day will be equal to B plus A by AB or it can be taken as A plus B by AB. But we are supposed to find out the total number of days. Remember friends, the number of days and the work done in one day are reciprocal to each other. Or I can say the number of days and the capacity that is nothing but work done in one day are reciprocal to each other. So we can say that the number of days should be equal to 1 by the capacity or the efficiency or it can be taken as 1 by the work done in one day. So from this very clear that the number of days should be inverse of capacity or capacity should be inverse of number of days. So once we come to know that A and B together can finish A plus B by AB in one day, we can say that the number of days required when A and B work together should be equal to reciprocal of B plus A by AB. That is nothing but AB by A plus B. So this is the number of days required when two persons A and B work together. As you can see here, A alone can finish a work in A days, B alone can finish a work in B days. So the work done by A in one day can be taken as 1 by A and the work done by B in one day is 1 by B. So when both of them work together, the total work which they can finish in one day will be 1 by A plus 1 by B. By simplifying that, we get A plus B by AB. But we need to find out the total number of days. Number of days is nothing but reciprocal of the capacity. So when you take inverse of the capacity or inverse of the work done in one day, we get the number of days. 
So this can be taken as the shortcut formula. That is, if A can finish a work in A days and B can finish the same work in B days, then the total number of days required when both A and B work together will be equal to AB by A plus B. So friends, either you can use the direct formula to get the answer or you can use the work done in one day to find out the total work done in one day and reciprocate that to get the number of days. So this is the shortcut formula and this is the concept behind the formula there. Similarly, let us assume that there are three persons A, B and C where A can finish the work in A days, B can finish the work in B days and C can finish the work in C days. So again going by the capacity we can say that the work done by A, B and C together in one day will be equal to 1 by A plus 1 by B plus 1 by C. This is nothing but work done by A in one day, this is work done by B in one day and work done by C in one day. So by simplifying this we get it as A, B plus B, C plus C, A by A, B, C. So this is the work done by A, B and C in one day. But as we need the number of days, we can simply reciprocate this to get the answer. So number of days when three persons are working together can be taken as, it can be taken as A, B, C by A, B plus B, C plus C, A. So this is the number of days required when two persons work together and this is the number of days required when three persons work together. Similarly, if there are four persons, we can continue with the same concept and find out the number of days required. So as per your convenience, you can either use the one day's work or simply substitute the values in the shortcut formula to get the answer. Let us now take the first example based on model 2 that we have just discussed. The question here is A, B and C can finish a piece of work in 10, 15 and 30 days respectively. How many days will be required if A, B and C work together to finish the given work? So here as you can see, the number of days required when A, B and C work alone are given to us. That is 10 days, 15 days and 30 days respectively. And we are supposed to find out the total number of days required when all these three persons work together. Now as discussed in this model, we can solve the question in two ways. Either we can use the shortcut formula, that is nothing but number of days will be equal to ABC by AB plus BC plus CA where A is the number of days taken by A, B is the number of days taken by B and C is the number of days taken by C or otherwise we can go by their one day's work. For example, when A, B and C work together, we can say that the total work finished in one day will be equal to the work done by A in one day which is 1 by 10. As A takes 10 days, we can say that the total work which he can do in one day will be one tenth of the given work plus the total work done by B in one day should be 1 by 15 and the work done by C in one day should be 1 by 30. So by simplifying this we can take 30 as the LCM here 10 goes 3 times 15 goes 2 times and 30 goes 1 time here. So this is equal to 6 by 30 or we can say it is 1 by 5. So 1 by 5 is nothing but the total amount of work that A, B and C can finish in one day when they work together. And as discussed earlier, we know that capacity is nothing but reciprocal of the number of days. So we can say number of days should be equal to 1 by the capacity or capacity should be equal to 1 by the number of days. So by reciprocating the given capacity, we can get the answer as 5 days. So we can say that when A, B and C work together, the total number of days required will be 5. So friends, we always can find out the total capacity when the three persons or four persons are working together and simply take the inverse of that to get the number of days. Or otherwise, we can simply substitute the values in the formula to get the answer. But generally, substituting these values in the formula sometimes can become complicated. So depending on your convenience, you can either go by the formula or simply find out the amount of work done in one day and reciprocate that to get the total number of days. Let us now take another typical example from time and work which can be solved based on the same concept that is one day's work. Let us look at the question here. B and C together can complete a work in 8 days. A and B together can complete the same work in 12 days and A and C together can complete the same work in 16 days. So in how many days can A, B and C together finish the work? So as you can see here, we have been given the number of days required by pairs of different persons and from which we are supposed to find out the number of days required when A, B and C together do the work. 
So the first statement here is B and C together can complete a work in 8 days. That means the work done by B and C in one day will be equal to 1 by 8. Assuming that the total work is one unit, B and C can finish one unit of work in 8 days. So in one day they will finish 1 by 8 of the work. Similarly, A and B together can finish the work in 12 days. So the work done by them in one day will be 1 by 12. And A and C can finish the same work in 16 days. So the work done by A and C in one day will be equal to 1 by 16. So 1 by 8, 1 by 12 and 1 by 16 are the amounts of work done by B and C, A and B and A and C respectively in one day each. Let us now add all these capacities to find out the total work done by all these persons here. So we can find that B plus C plus A plus B plus A plus C will be equal to 1 by 8 plus 1 by 12 plus 1 by 16. If we see here on the left hand side we have got two A's, two B's and two C's. So we can say that 2 times A plus B plus C will be equal to 1 by 8 plus 1 by 12 plus 1 by 16. So let us now try to simplify this. The LCM of 8, 12 and 16 is 48. So 8 goes 6 times, 12 goes 4 times and 16 goes in 48 3 times. So this will be equal to 6 plus 4, 10 plus 3, 13 by 48. That means the work done by 2 A's, 2 B's and 2 C's is 13 by 48. But here we are supposed to find out the work done by only 1 A, 1 B and 1 C. So let us bring this 2 on the other side. So we can say that A plus B plus C in one day they can finish 13 by 2 into 48 of the work. So this is nothing but 13 by 96. So this is the total capacity of A, B and C working together. That means in one day they can finish 13 by 96 of the work. But as our interest is to find out the number of days, we need to reciprocate this to get the answer. Why? Because we have very well understood that number of days will be the reciprocal of the capacity or the reciprocal of total work done in one day. So from this we can say that number of days will be equal to 96 by 13. And this can be simplified as 7, 5 by 30. So the total number of days required when A, B and C work together will be 7, 5 by 13 days. Let us now take another example based on the concept of one day's work. The question here is 12 men can complete a work in 6 days, 8 women can do it in 12 days. If 6 men and 8 women are employed together, how many days will be required to finish the work? So as you can see here, 12 men can do a piece of work in 6 days. So we can say that 12 men can do it in 6 days. The next statement says 8 women can do it in 12 days. So 8 women when they work together, they take 12 days to finish the work. And we are supposed to find out the number of days required when 6 men and 8 women are employed together. That means when 6 men and 8 women work together, how many days will be required? To solve this type of question, we can again go by the concept of one day's work. Here, let us assume that the group of 6 men is nothing but one person A and this group of 8 women is one person B. Now, if we are able to find out the number of days required by the person A or nothing but the number of days required by 6 men to do this work, and the number of days required by the person B. That is nothing but the number of days required by 8 women to do the work. Then we can apply the one day's concept or the unitary method to find out the total number of days. So let us now work on to find out the number of days required by the persons A and B individually. Now as we can see here, person B is nothing but the group of 8 women. And we know that 8 women can finish this work in 12 days. So we can directly say that B will take 12 days to finish the work. When it comes to the person A, we have got a group of 6 men. We know that 12 men can finish the work in 6 days. Now if 12 men take 6 days, how many days will be required by 6 men? We have already discussed that persons and number of days are inversely proportional to each other. That means as the persons increases, the number of days will decrease and as the number of persons decreases, the number of days will increase. So you can see here that 12 men have become 6 men. That is nothing but the number of men have become half. 
So when the number of men have become half, the number of days should get double. So we can simply say that if 12 men take 6 days, 6 men will take double these number of days. So 6 when doubled, it becomes 12 days. So we can say that 6 men or the person A will take 12 days. The other way of finding out the number of days required by 6 men would be to apply the concept of work proportional to persons into days into number of hours per day. That is nothing but model number 1. Here the number of hours are not given in the question. So that can be neglected and we can say that work is proportional to P into D. That means W1 by W2 should be equal to P1 D1 by P2 D2 as we have discussed earlier. Now here P1 is nothing but the number of persons in the first case that is 12 men. D1 is 6 days. P2 is the number of persons in the second case that is 6 men and we are supposed to find out D2 that is number of days required by 6 men. Here we can see that the work done by 12 men in 6 days is same as the work done by 6 men. So we can say that W1 is equal to W2 that is work done in both the cases is same. So when W1 is equal to W2, we very well know that P1 D1 should be equal to P2 D2. So now by substituting the values here, we can find out D2. So we know that P1 is 12 men, D1 is 6 days, P2 is 6 men and D2 should be calculated. So we can see that 6 and 6 gets cancelled and D2 will be equal to 12 days. So this is the other way of finding out number of days required by the person A which is 12 days as we have obtained here. But in this case as we can see that the number of men are becoming half directly we can see that the number of days should be double. Otherwise when there is no direct relationship between number of men in these two cases we can use this concept of P1 D1 equals to P2 D2 to get the number of days. So, so far we have obtained the number of days required by the person A that is 12 days and the number of days required by the person B which is again 12 days and we are supposed to find out the number of days required when both A and B work together that is nothing but 6 men and 8 women work together. Now going by the one days concept we know that the work finished by A in one day will be 1 by 12 as he takes 12 days in one day he can finish 1 twelfth of the work. Similarly, the work done by B in one day will also be 1 by 12 as B also takes 12 days. So the total work finished by A and B together in one day will be 1 by 12 plus 1 by 12 which is equal to 2 by 12 or it is 1 by 6. So 1 by 6 is nothing but the work done by A and B in one day. A and B in one day will be equal to 1 by 6. But we are supposed to find out the number of days required when they work together. And we know that number of days will be reciprocal of one day's work or reciprocal of the capacity. So A and B's capacity is 1 by 6. So number of days should be equal to 6. That is the inverse of 1 by 6. So the answer for this question will be 6 days. That is when A and B work together, the number of days required will be 6 days. But here in this case, we need not do the whole calculation to get the answer. You can see that A takes 12 days and B also takes 12 days. That means A and B are of equal capacity because the work which A can finish in 12 days can also be finished by B in the same number of days. So whenever the number of days taken by the two persons are equal, when they work together the number of days will become half. That is when A takes 12 days and B also takes 12 days and when they work together the number of days should be half of 12 which is 6 days. So this whole calculation actually is not required for this particular question. Why? Because whenever two persons of equal capacity are working together, the number of days required will be simply half of the number of days taken by each one of them. For example, let us assume that A can finish a piece of work in 10 days and B can also do the same work in 10 days. So when both A and B work together, the number of days should be 5. That is nothing but half of 10. So A and B together can finish in 5 days. So similarly in this case, we can directly say that the number of days will be 6 days. Otherwise, in cases where number of days are not equal, we can go by the one days concept or the shortcut formula that is AB by A plus B to get the answer.